Hey, 6.4 Nation. This is Doug. I'm just a garage hack. Uh, thought I'd share my very first video for YouTube on how to fix your 2008 to 2016 Super Duty power telescoping mirror. I uh, kind of messed up my passenger side. I was at Sonic and I was backing out and I forgot to retract my mirrors and I hit the, uh, the stall next to me. And that kind of did some damage, but then a couple of weeks later, I'm backing into my garage. I forget to retract the mirror, and I whack it pretty hard that time, and I break the external case. So what I have sitting here next to me is a uh, uh, an aftermarket replacement. Um, I was looking at the ones with power retraction in it, uh, but if you find those, they're out of production. But if you find them, they're about 500, 600, 700 bucks. Uh, these off from Amazon are about $165. They're manual telescoping. They do have heated glass in them, uh, but you lose your um, uh, power telescoping and your power folding, okay? So I wanted to retain those features. So I got on Facebook and I was asking the 6.4 Facebook group, uh, no BS, uh, did anybody know if one of these aftermarkets, if you could take the, the case off from it, exchange the case onto your truck so that you can keep the the motor in there that it retracts and extends the mirrors. Nobody knew for sure, uh, so there was some interest in figuring out how to do this. So I went ahead and uh, took the chance. I ordered up these uh, these mirrors off from Amazon and I thought I'd give it, give it a shot. Uh, I'll show you here the ones that I, uh, I ordered. Right up here, I got the Perfect Zone towing mirrors. They're the replacement for the F250, 350, 450, 550. Uh, your factory uh, mirror, uh, mirrors come with an amber lens. I thought I'd change this up a little bit because I have a, a dark gray truck and I got the smoke lens. Okay, uh, these I got for 162, 69 minus a 5% coupon. I ordered them on a Monday. I live in Omaha, Nebraska. They shipped out of California. I got them on Friday, so here I am uh, doing this install and making this video to hopefully help some other folks out uh, who have done something similar to me and, and to save some money. So we go back over here to the mirror. This is the driver's side mirror. I've already, pre-production here, already worked on the passenger side mirror so that I would know what I was doing when I started to make the video. But basically this is exactly like the OEM. It does come with a pigtail, but like I said, the pigtail will not make all the functions work because inside here, there is no motor. There's no motor like on your OEM. Here's your smoke uh, a running lamp and your smoke turning signal right there. It'll probably uh, look pretty good on my dark gray truck. These are supposed to bolt right into your truck, but I'm not gonna do any of that because all I really care about is this front piece here and this piece right here, because I want to retain everything else on my truck. Now, your OEM one, this back here, is a solid part, a solid part. Right here though, these come with a removable cap so that you can paint them, color match them. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm, I, I, I like the solid black mirror on my truck. I won't, I won't mess with that. So, uh, why don't we take a, a walk out here. Uh, let's look at the OEM mirror and then I'll show you what I have done to the uh, passenger side. So here's my gray metallic truck. This is the driver's side mirror not destroyed by the uh, negligence of the driver. Uh, here's your amber uh, uh, turn signal and your running light uh, lens. Here you have a solid piece right here. And of course you have the glass on the back side. So I would, the challenge for me is, if I can get my cameraman to come around here. The challenge for me was not knowing how to take all this apart because when you buy the replacement mirror, it all comes as one unit. So how do I get all this apart? Well, first thing you gotta do is you gotta remove your glass, your OEM glass. 
The easiest way to do that is to press up on this and then pull out from the bottom. There's two tabs up here and a tab in the center. Those will release and you'll get that glass out of there. Down here, you push in on the top, pull out on the bottom again. We will we'll go through that here in a few minutes on showing you how to take care of that, okay? So why don't we walk over here and see what we got. So here we have the passenger side. This is the one I messed up, okay? So when you get the case off, uh, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have your, your uh, back plate that adjusts your mirror up here, and then you're going to have this. This doesn't adjust uh, automatically. You gotta manually adjust your wide scoping mirror. Uh, once you get the, the lens out, you're going to have your running lamp and your, and your turn signal. Your uh, turn signal is going to be the black and white wire. Your running lamp is going to be your brown and black wire. These two connectors are going to be your heated mirror. One goes to the top, one goes to the bottom. Okay. On the back here, you can see here, right here, is the motor. This motor engages the telescoping going out and going in. Going out and going in, right there, all right? So that's the part I wanted to retain. I needed to retain that in order to keep everything working. And then in, inside here, I believe, is where the other motor's at to do the uh, uh, close in the mirror and then fold out the mirror. So I believe that motor is inside here, and this motor's the one that goes in and out. This has a pin that comes up and a pin that goes down. I believe is how I, I've seen it in there. And when the motor turns on, it kicks these the mirror off that way. And then when you change directions, it goes back in. All right. Now, if you keep your truck a little dirty like me, when you go to put it back together, you're gonna see where the mirror, the old plastic case fit up on the telescoping part. That's a good clue to know where you need to put the uh, this rail at when you're installing the case. So we're gonna go ahead, put you on pause for a little bit, and then we're gonna come back to the video and take up where we're taking the um, driver's side apart. Okay, so we're back to the driver's side. We're gonna take this apart so that we can, I can show you how to get in there to swap out this external case. So I'm gonna push this up. Push that up, get underneath it, and this will pop out. Just like that, pop right out. Your retaining, there's a couple of retainers on the back side of the mirror to hold your defrost wire. You want to pull that defrost wire out, and now you've got that glass. Of course, you want to set this down someplace where you don't break it. Same thing goes for the bottom. You want to press up. You want to get under it. I think on the... There we go. Once again, you've got your wire that goes to the heater element on the back. You want to pull that off. You want to set this aside. Now, on your OEM factory, you want to get you a seven millimeter nut driver. Seven millimeter nut driver, because there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five screws you need to get out of there. So one's over here.
Okay, so I got those loose. Now, if I can have my camera guy come in here, I want you to look up here, right here. This tab pushes up. Okay, that tab pushes out. That tab pushes out. Okay, and then you got to get these two tabs undone. All right. If you don't do that, you're going to break those off. So make sure that you do that. So we'll have my cameraman back out. We'll start down here. And we got it. Get that wire out of that, that retaining clip. There we have it. So, we've got this like this, and then this will just come off the back. Now, I've seen in some reviews that people are trying to change these lights from the external side. From the external side. You know, and they've been breaking these lights out of here. Even on the, um, the aftermarket ones, people are complaining about it. Well, I don't think that's the way it's designed. Inside here, if I can have my camera guy move up here, this lens is clipped into here, okay? So you need to push that back in order to get that light to pop out of there. See that? It just pops right out. Well, people are trying to do it from the external side and they're breaking it. And then they're saying that the aftermarket kit is not very well made. So there we have it. We have it off. Okay. Now, now comes the fun part. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to take apart the aftermarket one so that we can put this new external case onto the driver's side. All right, welcome back. Now we're down in the basement and we've got the driver's side mirror that we're gonna take apart. I will tell you that this is gonna be the hardest part of the job right here is taking this apart. As you can see, this is the passenger side. This is your wide angle mirror on your aftermarket um, assembly. They put a screw holding that in there before they put the glass on this. So they put the glass on there, screw it into here, and then they put the glass on there. So as you can imagine, I couldn't figure out how to get that thing off. So I ended up breaking it when I was trying to get it off, and then I realized after I broke it, that hey, they put a screw behind that glass and there's no way you're getting that out of there without breaking the glass. So we're, we're gonna have a little fun breaking some glass uh, on, on this one in order to get to where we need to go. Now, this is a little bit harder, but we're still gonna do the top part of the glass the way we did it on the, uh, on the truck. We're gonna push up and we're going to pull out. Okay? So we got her out. Now on this one, you just have two wires. You have two wires. I understand that I just had a photo bomber in my first YouTube video. Uh, that's my youngest son. This is normally his uh, Fortnite room. And so he's uh, being a little bit of a photo bomber. So uh, we'll try to edit him out maybe if we can't. Then he's going to... Uh, have his first uh, co-starring role in a video. So we got this off, okay? Now, we've got to get this off, but I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna take a Phillips head screw, and on this particular one, you have a screw here, a screw here, and then you got uh, two, three screws down here, but I can still get to them even though the glass is on. So I'm gonna do that right now.
Okay, so I got the top two out. That's going to release this top. And then I'm going to move this mirror around as I get these screws out of the bottom. I got that one out. There's one in this top corner. Okay, so at this point in time, I've got the top mirror out, I've got the screws out, and I'm going to have to get this, uh, this wide-angle glass out, okay? Like I was mentioning earlier in the video, they put a screw right behind that glass, and I didn't know how to get that out of there, and then I fortunately broke the glass and was able to figure out that there's a screw back there. So at this point in time, I'm going to go off camera. Uh, I'm going to put on some safety glasses, put some gloves on. I'm going to break this glass, and once I get the glass broke, I'll come back to the video. All right, so the, uh, the dangerous work is over. I got me a little uh, ball-peen hammer that I, I got at, a, at a, a store I like to affectionately call China Freight. Uh, I took that, I just hit it squarely right there, broke that mirror, okay? Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull back some of this glass. I got a blanket down to catch the glass. And I'm going to peel this back so I can see the screw. And there it is, right there. There's the screw. Now, the first time I did this, I probably messed with this mirror for a good 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get this thing out without breaking it. But there's just no way of doing it. So you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to break it. So once you get that screw loose, it pops right out. On the back side is a ball, and they put a screw right in the middle of it so that you can't get it out of there. It's got a couple of retainer clips on here that maybe you'd be able to get it out by breaking off these retainer clips. Uh, but um, I'm not going to use this. It's just an extra piece and part. Now, on this particular model, this particular model, this, uh, this curved mirror is not heated. It is not heated. So, but on my OEM one, it is heated. Okay? So, now we have that. Now comes the next harder part is you want to get this stuff apart. Well, the bottom comes out pretty good. But if I can get my cameraman to come in here and help me. Unlike the OEM where this just popped off, that clip there, that clip there, you're going to have to push back. And at the same time, you're going to have to take these two clips and you're going to have to pull those up so you can get this top part pulled out. So. We'll go ahead and push pause so that we can reposition the camera so that you can see me doing this. Okay, so the first step that you want to do is take these two clips. I got uh, these automotive uh, uh, trim device removers uh, from an up that China freight place I was talking about. And I went ahead and popped those loose. Now, the hard part here is taking these clips and getting those clips undone, okay? You need to take a look, see how you're going to do that, and then this thing will pop off, okay? So, now that I've got these loose, I'm going to go ahead and put it on pause, and I'm going to get these two loose. I'm going to use these tools and some screwdrivers in order to help me to do that. Now, it'll take, it took me 10 minutes the first time. I'm hoping it takes me a lot less, but I'm not going to bore you of being on camera for doing this, okay? So go ahead and pause. Okay, so it took me a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I was able to get the bottom part pulled back from here. Remember how I spoke about the aftermarket comes with a cap. So here's the cap that the aftermarket one came with, right here. Your OEM one doesn't have that. It's one solid piece. Uh, so I've got this off. Now I've got to get these pieces pulled apart right here 
and I'm gonna do that using my tools again. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on pause. Don't know how long it'll take me, but uh, this is the, the hardest part of, the, of, of this particular process. Okay, so I've got the front piece um, taken off from the back piece. And then at this point in time, I'll go ahead and I'll release the, uh, the light here, get it pushed out. Now, one thing I will note on this, the OEM light has a different kind of plug on it. The OEM light has a different kind of plug on it. And so this, where these fit in to the smoke lens, if you're going to use the smoke lens, you're going to have to cut these out and use these on your truck, okay? If you just want to go ahead and use the amber lenses again, you can keep these, um, the, these on your truck and not change them out, okay? But I'm going to go with the uh, smoke lenses, so I'll probably cut these off, splice these connectors into my truck, and then that way I will be able to have the smoke lenses in. Now, one thing I want to point out is that when you're taking this part off on the extension arms, it has a connector right here. So when you're taking that apart, you want to get that bent up with one of your utility tools and then that will help you get it undone uh, a little bit quicker. So what we have here is we have our three pieces and we're ready to go back out to the truck. Okay, so we're out back in the driveway in the garage area. One thing I wanted to point out was on the aftermarket where the lower ex extension arm there is a plastic piece inside here right there where you can see that that plastic piece right there the OEM one does not have that it does not have that so on the passenger side and the driver side I'm going to take a Dremel and I'm going to Dremel this out now be careful don't go too deep because you'll burn through your plastic case and now you just bought a $165 mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on pause and we're going to go in and Dremel this out. So I've got this Dremeled out. Like I say, be careful when you're doing that so you don't go too deep and go through. That will be a very bad mistake. So at this point in time, before I put this back together, remember I told you I was going to change my amber lens out for the, uh, the dark gray lens. So at this time, I'm gonna have to take my running light and uh, my turn signal light. I'm gonna have to cut these pigtails off and then I'm gonna have to solder the other ones together uh, for the replacements. I really don't like to do this, uh, but the truck is now uh, you know 12 years old uh, and I'm pretty confident in, in being able to make this work good without any uh, kind of a uh, problem. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, and we'll go ahead and go on pause while I take care of those connections. Okay, so we've uh, we've cut off our uh, turn signal uh, and our uh, running light. Uh, we've exchanged those connectors using some soldering, uh, some heat shrink, uh, to put those new uh, adapters in there so that I can make the gray lenses work. Like I say, if you're gonna plan on keeping your amber lenses, uh, no need to do any of this because they'll just fit right back in. So uh, I'm gonna go do this on the other side and then we'll come back and put this side together. Okay, so I've got both sides uh, soldered together with the new plugs so that I can make my uh, smoke lenses fit. Uh, at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and put the back on run my um, connectors for the light through the hole, okay, I got that, got this fitted up, uh, they fit really well, the screws, the screw holes all match up, they, they all match up, so that's, that's a good sign, um, we, uh, uh, so we got a good match there. At this time, 
I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust this mirror. Remember how earlier I said that if you if your truck's a little dirty, you can adjust your mirror uh, to the to the little lines that are on your uh, extension arm. So I'm gonna get in the truck, start it up. Uh, I'm gonna move these lines to where they match up with the help of my assistant. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that on pause and take care of that. All right, so we went ahead and I had my assistant help me. Um, one thing that I noticed that when I put the back on and my assistant moved the mirror in with the telescoping button, that it only went in so far and it matched up where the dirt lines were on my uh, brace arms here. So that's good. That means that I'm going to have the, uh, the, the bo both brace arms geometric from both sides to both sides, okay? Uh, so at this time, I'm going to have him go ahead and um, we're going to have him put the, the key in the ignition and we're going to change out uh, these bulbs and we're going to figure out which one is the turn signal and which one is the uh, fog light. Uh, so, okay, welcome back. I had a little bit of technical difficulties. I got those uh, soldering connections made and I was putting this back on and I showed you how that fit when the telescoping came in and out. So I was able to get the back on. Um, uh, I was trying to figure out why it's not fitting very good, but uh, once I put the screws in, uh, it pulls the front piece to the back piece and it, and it fits pretty good. Uh, so I'll show you what it's going to look like here and then we'll put the cap on. Uh, so pretty good seam right there. Uh, looks like a OEM. Doesn't look too bad. Looks a lot better than a busted up one that I had uh, because of uh, my little mess ups. I'm putting uh, five screws back into this thing. And then we'll get the glass put back in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap back on. Make sure I get those in there, those top clips in there. And then I'll push it down and it locks into place just like that. So as you can see, uh, that's my hole outside. I've got my smoke lens on. And that's the passenger side. That's the one I really needed to fix because that's the one I messed up. Uh, so we're good to go there. Uh, now we've got to be able to put the glass in it. So um, we'll go ahead and hit pause and do that at the moment. Okay, so now we're ready to put our glass back in. And we want to make sure that we get our connector on our, uh, uh, on our heated mirror. Stick that back in there. Get a good connection. All right. And then on this one, it just pops back in. Just pops right back in. And you adjust it. There you go. Now on the top one, you want to get your heater element plugged back in. Okay, you got two clips on top and one on the bottom. Get those two clips uh, in there at the top and get your bottom in there. And it should be in there good and tight. So there you go. Okay, so there we have our passenger side on there. It's all repaired. Everything works. The retracting works. The telescoping works. Like I say, that is the aftermarket uh, mirror. I retained the uh, inner workings of my mirror and I made the outer casing work. I'm going to put the uh, driver's side back together, do some editing on the video. Uh, it was my first video, uh, so if it, it drug on, I apologize, but uh, we all have our first videos on YouTube. Hopefully this will help you save about 500 bucks. And uh, like I say, my name's Doug and I'm just a garage hack.